Hey folks, um, Oklahoma, I can speak a little bit today. Maybe my last time for a little bit. They're gonna do some work on my throat. But uh, I've heard some, you know, there's been some bad chitter chatter about a gun that I actually love. It's this uh, Rock Island. It's the uh, 10 millimeter. And uh, it's just, it's just beautiful. Oh, look at that. It's outstanding, got a great trigger on it, adjustable trigger. Binary uh, safeties. Uh, it's not, so you can lock it. But anyway, people say that it's not that good. I love it. I actually bought this, number one, because I wanted one. And I did some research on it, and I love this one. And uh, I went and shot it. Then I ordered it. I haven't regretted ordering it since. Shoots good, outstanding accuracy. Good trigger, really good purchase. Love it. <clears throat> but one of the original reasons I got this was I intended on getting back into uh, hog hunting. And if you've ever done it in Oklahoma, which some of you have done, Sometimes when you go out here and you fish, you'll run up on a, we're eat up with those Russian hogs and they are meaner than shit. Uh, you can't do much with a nine millimeter with them unless you hit a good shot. And I'm gonna tell you, just, I'm not an expert, but if you go shoot those hogs, those, those half Russians, you gotta hit them in the neck. I mean, I shot them with, uh, uh, 223s, 5.56s, five, five, and 6.5 Creed, more the Grendel, 3030s, 308. But uh, if you want to drop a hog, hit him in the neck. You hit him right here, they got a huge uh, armor plate on their sides. Now, you may kill them, but you're not going to drop them, most likely. But uh, this 10 millimeter, if you're out there fishing and you run across one of those hogs and uh, you need something for protection, the best thing is this right here. Uh, always take a little hint, especially when you're hog hunting. Don't get bang, 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 bang. Aim and then pull the trigger because it's really going to be important. Those hogs will chase you, go right at you. Anyway, I don't shoot this very often. The reason I don't is the ammo is expensive. But uh, I've got some little bitty targets, probably 20. Yeah, 20 yards, a little bit of pop-ups, but I'm just going to show you how the action works. But it's it's a sweet little gun. Oh, man. It is accurate. Ooh. This gun's better than me. Makes me look good. Nice and clean. No problems with ejections. It's just a, it's a sweet little puppy. So, anybody out there that's griping about these guns, you don't know anything about them. Sorry. <laughs> that makes people mad, but I love it. It's, uh, and it's got a great purchase. You know, when you, I like leather holsters, and uh, I mean, I, I just, just love it. Love this also, but uh, anyway, that's it. And boy, when when you have it set in your your belt, I mean, it's heavy. I mean, it's a nineteen eleven. It's a ten millimeter. It's heavy, which means it really stays on target. Not a lot of muzzle rise on it. You got a good grip on that thing. It's 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 outstanding. Now, if you look out here, these are the ones I shot at. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. I just knocked it over. But these other ones weren't 
even thing I was shooting at. But this just shows you the accuracy, and that's how far back I am. Okay, we're gonna step that off, and this is each yard. One, two, three, four, five, seven, That's 20 yards. Not bad. 10 millimeter RIA. See ya.